What's up guys, so I'm here with my buddy Nathan and we're going to be comparing Red Dead Redemption 2 versus Grand Theft Auto gameplay wise and touch on a couple of things story wise but mainly this is going to be about gameplay and just what we think about it but everybody this is Nathan, I'll link his stuff in the bottom, he's a real cool dude, one of my best friends and so he's been playing a lot of GTA but I've played a lot more Red Dead Redemption 2 versus him. I mean, I beat it 100% and he's still working on it. But lately, he's done a lot of Grand Theft Auto lately to, you know, try to work with this video a little bit. So that way we have, a, I have a lot of Red Dead stuff to talk about and he has a lot of GTA stuff to talk about. Gunplay. So, what do you think about Gunplay in Grand Theft Auto 5? Gunplay in Grand Theft Auto 5 is... I would say, compared to Red Dead Redemption 2, Red Dead Redemption 2 is a lot more fluid. I mean, it has the whole system where you actually have to cock the gun back when you're going to shoot for some of the guns, but, like, aiming-wise, I say they're about the same. Yeah, aiming, the, the aiming, aiming system is pretty messed up still, in my a, opinion. Plus, aiming, aiming feels the same. Honestly, if we talk about first-person mode mm -hmm. for both games... Needs a lot of work, regardless. Yeah. There's no improvement like, off of it from uh, GTA V. It's like give like give it like Far Cry controls for first person. Give it Call of Duty controls. Right, exactly. Give it Titanfall controls. I don't care. Just right. give it good first person controls. I know the engine's limited, but like they, they could make it better. They, 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 you can remap it in the settings, but you don't get to remap it how you really want it. No, it, and it feels stiff when you're mm -hmm. aiming and stuff and moving around. It looks stiff in first person. But let's get back to gunplay again. So what I like about the gunplay in Red Dead is every time you shoot it, shoot it whether it's a, a shotgun, a revolver, a pistol, or you know a sniper rifle, whatever, every single gun has such a distinct feeling, sound, and the way it like shoots. Mm -hmm. And one of the coolest things I think about is if you're in the mountains and you shoot like a carbine rifle, it's just, and it's like you hear it echo throughout the entire mountains, and it just has a giant crack to it. And uh, I think GTA doesn't really have that same effect when you make a shot from that. Well, again, you gotta custom the fact that Red Dead Redemption 2 is, like, it's a newer, like, it's a way newer game. They've had a lot of time to develop it, and they've spent a lot mm -hmm. of time working on the details and stuff. Sure. But that's not really touched on gunplay. That's such an audio quality. Yeah, well, true. Well, what do you think about this? Um, Deadeye versus Michael's ability. Okay, Deadeye's broken. Okay. <laughs> Straight up. Like, Michael's ability, it slows down time and stuff, I'm sure. But, like, with Deadeye, you don't really... Like, if you have the earlier iteration of Deadeye, where you don't even have to click on it, it automatically targets yeah. the things. Whereas Michael's requires some skill with the kind of shoddy aiming system. I can't stand accidentally targeting things because I like being able just to pinpoint headshot, well, yeah. headshot, headshot. I'm saying that Deadeye is kind of a cheap way of getting out of situations. I mean, it's very, very satisfying. Mm -hmm. I will not say it's a bad thing about the game. I'll not discredit Red Dead Redemption, because I know it was in the first one, too. Mm -hmm. And the original Red Dead Revolver, as well, had that as well. Right. But... What I like about the guns in this, some, if you go up to someone and you shoot them in the face with a shotgun, their limbs will actually get blown off, versus in GTA Five that doesn't happen. No, in GTA Five uh, they just fall over and die. Maybe yeah. there's blood, but... Right. That's it. Um, so one thing that I like about doing an RDR2 is instead of, you know, doing the aiming and doing, it's just having a single revolver, sing, a single action revolver, mind you, and just doing it instead of aiming it, just to keep it by your waist, just pop, 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 pop. Oh, well, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that is so satisfying every time I do it. It's so fast, and it feels so cool. Yeah, but the one thing I will say that I love about GTA Five, which... Attributes to one of my concepts I firmly believe in that realism doesn't always equal fun is in GTA 5 you have the weapon wheel where you have all your weapons on you at all times. I know it's not realistic, but it's a lot of fun. And I like being able to whip out a pistol just for fun or a musket mm -hmm. and then switch to a railgun on the fly without having to go to a horse saddle or something to grab it. I like the availability of all the weapons. And that's the thing that... I know Red Dead Redemption 2 is trying to be immersive and realistic and stuff, but at the same point, I kind of like having the fun in GTA 5 where I can go and just grab whatever I want, shoot whatever I want, do whatever I want, mm -hmm. whenever I want. Whatever, I'll do what I want! You actually... 
get to upgrade your gear in RDR. Like, you get to have your holsters and your satchel, and you can upgrade your satchel. There's like 30 different ones you can have, and you can have all the abilities active at once. It's just the only thing that changes what it looks like. I like being able to do that and also have the talesmen and stuff and all the things you get from the legendary animals and the clothes and everything you can make. I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, touching on GTA 5, you might not be able to upgrade your stuff, but you can customize your weapons. And yeah. that's the biggest part of customization in that game is weapons and cars. And you can make your cars faster, have more armor, and you can add more attachments to your guns, make them look pretty. You can customize your guns pretty good in RDR. I mean, but not nearly as much as uh, GTA 5. Granted, that's accustomed to the times. You couldn't really do right. that much in thing. But again, yeah, realism sure. is not always fun. Right. Well, they went for 100% realism. Exactly. They won the big... Super realistic, and I know I've had a debate with my cousin Caleb over like games being realistic, especially with my dad who always wants everything to be super realistic, and I'm I, like, it's not fun. I think it, it works for me for RDR though. I I like it. I like it more than the first one. It, yeah. It just it clicks for me because I sit down, and I'm, I get up, and I'm talking like Arthur Morgan for the next three days. Boy, you still talk like Arthur <laughs> Morgan to this day. <laughs> still, I, I I haven't played RDR in like a week, and I'm I talk like Arthur Morgan every day. Um, how about traversing? I, I mean, with the horse, sometimes I'll put it in cinematic mode. That's all I do. But <laughs> what drives me crazy is you put it in cinematic mode and you have bounties on you. It's like okay, you, you're scrambling, you're scrolling through Twitter or something like that, and then you're scrambling for your controller because your your horse is gonna die or something like that, and then it, that's just a goddamn mess. See, okay, I'll briefly touch on the bounty system. The five star system in GTA Five is way better. No, than okay, the system. that that is better. <laughs> way better, <laughs> way better. But we're not gonna go into that till a little bit later. But traversing, okay. So in Red Dead Redemption Two, I usually get the horse in the right path, set the marker, and then put it in cinematic mode, and then play my guitar for about thirty minutes because that's how long it takes to get anywhere. <laughs> and I feel like it's getting into the game. I loved it. I loved traversing on a horse. It felt amazing. I loved checking out the scenery. It was so beautiful. Mm -hmm. But after 60 hours or whatever, even though I've only played about, like, 40, it's repetitive. Yeah. And, sure, like, the world interactions in, around you, like, occasionally run across the KKK. That gets me off my horse and has fun. <laughs> but when I'm walking around on my horse, I'm kind of bored, to be honest. Like, I'm soaking in the scenery, but I've already seen the scenery a million times. I just want to get to my thing, which is why it should have fast travel. Whereas in GTA V... You get to ride in your car. You get to ride in a motorcycle. Everything's fun because everything's fast. Los Santos, all the way to the top of the map, it only takes you, like, at most 10 minutes. Whereas in Red Dead Redemption 2, it takes 10 minutes to get almost anywhere, it feels like. I know I'm being True. a little... I'm exaggerating a bit, but it feels like it because it takes True. forever to do everything. But I think RDR does better is giving you side missions. In GTA, they'll just... Unless it's a stranger freak... You'll just get a phone call. They're like, oh, hey, uh, go and do this. And then versus Red Dead Redemption 2, you'll have a prisoner that just came out of, up to you that broke out of jail and say, hey, you know, can you shoot these handcuffs off me? You shoot them off him, and then he tells you a place that you can go and rob. Interactions like that, I think, are, are more smooth, and they feel more with the times. And I like it because it's like you're communicating with the game. It's not just your controller rings and it tells you, oh, hey, go, go and do this. And... I like the way it feels better. I think you're forgetting about in GTA 5, when you're driving around like in the main story mode, there are circumstances where you'll run across someone, mm -hmm. and they'll be in, either in the middle of a robbery or something, Right. and then you'll come in, and they'll be like, yo, can you take us on a ride? Just get us out of here. We're a getaway driver, because this guy was an idiot didn't get one, mm -hmm. or whatever, or their driver died. You go around, take them away, next thing you know, they're like, oh, thank you. Either they'll give you some money from the heist, or th and they'll become heist members in the future when you're doing a heist. Or you'll have something simple like uh, finding some people out of a bar, taking them over to their hotel while they fuck in the back seat, <laughs> and then in turn they give you some money. I mean, they have situations like that in GTA V, where they're right. just out of nowhere, you either see them or you don't. And they're pretty immersive given the characters. Like, each character has their own specific yes. interactions they're gonna have with each, like, stranger they run to. Not to mention the freaks that you run into with each character they all have their own stories i mean they have some interconnecting characters mm -hmm. can't remember the guy's name the guy who's trying to legalize marijuana 
where everyone has a crazy trip. No, oh, yeah, except yeah, yeah. for Franklin, which is really funny actually. The, the hippie dude. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was so funny with Franklin, where he goes and take the hippie. Like, Man, this was weak. <laughs> well, everyone else is just tripping like crazy. GTA Five did it better. Just kidding. Actually, I think I actually believe that Red Dead Redemption Two you, actually did that better. You want to know something interesting that they kind of like they expanded upon from GTA to Red Dead is you know how you can. I think it's click L3 or you press up on the D-pad in GTA and you get to talk to people. It's like, that you'll just like talk smack to them. They'll be like, oh, like, shut the fuck up. You know, get out of my face. And they'll do something. Versus in Red Dead, you get the whole, you know, you can antagonize, greet, rob. Yes. And it's a more updated system of talking it definitely is more of an update system. they develop more of the rpg aspect of like mm-hmm. most games like witcher or instead mass of, effect or just, any of those instead of picking what you want to say you sort of just yeah it just gives you an option of what you say right. and then you go for it mm-hmm. i mean gta 5 did not even have that in fact everything was on rails from the most part with dialogue you never could choose except for the heist which all you did for the heist was just choose your methods let's talk about online for a second yeah. shall we so we have a quick things to mention in online. So it's just the beta. We don't want to go too off like on it too much. I don't like my character not having a voice. I still, I can't stand it. I like my characters having voices and I can't stand it. It sucks. Honestly, I'm just going to talk criticism about Red Dead Redemption 2 online. I played for three hours. There's only a few things I really liked. I mean, I liked being able to play online with my friends and mess around. But that gets boring after a little while. I did enjoy the mission that I did. I've only done one mission, because after that I got really bored, and I didn't want to play anymore. That's why I won't compare it to GTA Online, because it's had years upon years of the service being live, with tons of content added and stuff, and I only hope that Red Dead Redemption 2 follows in their footsteps and actually creates a full-fledged online mode that's actually fun. Mm-hmm. And I not boring. I think with time they're going to get it right, just like with GTA. I did like lassoing people around dragging them behind my horse, barely keeping yeah. them alive. I, yeah. I do that a lot. So it my friend funny. tried to break out, then I killed him. But. <laughs> it is funny. The characters in both games. I think the characters and the way you can connect with them and the story is phenomenal. You're reading a book, except you're playing through it, and it's one of the best forms of storytelling I've seen in gaming and just entertainment in general. The way Rockstar makes you connect to these characters. I mean, they all have their own stories. You can feel for every single one of them where they come from. And, I mean, there's deep moments and there's funny moments. And by the time you get to the end in both games, it's completely, it's, it's mind-blowing and it'll break your heart. Uh, depending on which route you go, you know? See, with GTA Five and stuff, you kind of just, you go into it. The intro is where you meet most of the gang. You get a feel of who they are going in. And sure, like, each character is pretty likable for the most part, except for... It's all subjective as to who you like, for the most part, but... I think it identifies with the personality. It really does. Like, each <laughs> character, like, if you're crazy and stuff, you might identify more with Trevor. I'm not going to spoil the ending of GTA Five in case for everyone else who's not <laughs> completed it, even though it's been out for... Five years. Five years, and it's still relevant to this day. Still relevant. Still relevant. Hasn't That's been crazy. scrutinized at all. Nope. Unlike Red Dead Redemption 2, <laughs> which has been called... So at points, boring. I could say some things about GTA, but I don't want to say anything about GTA. No, this is a comparison. We're supposed to fight well, each other. Well, I have... I mean, it's been such a long time since I played it, so... I have the most knowledge of both in recent memory compared recent, to you. And I have the most recent memory of RDR, so... No, but going back to the characters and stuff, like I thought the characters... I can't... Only for me, only... I can't even say any of them were, like, relatable, but I cared enough about their stories to want to pursue what's going on with them. So, sure, Red Dead Redemption 2 has a more fluid story because everything just kind of streamlines through. You kind of get to get a feel of how the gang works and stuff. And you kind of feel for them as you're going on. And sometimes you question them as to, should I really trust them and stuff. Whereas right. in GTA 5, you have those moments as well, actually. Mm-hmm. Where, um... Especially the ending of GTA. You, you, the FIB talks to... Uh, Franklin, that's yeah, right. Franklin, I don't know yeah. why I can't think of that. Yeah, Franklin. The FIB talks to Franklin's like, Listen, like, you can't hang out with these guys anymore. They're only they're going to drag you down. Mm-hmm. And in turn, like, you have to make a tough decision at the end. Or you 
don't have to take the tough decision, but it's going to cost you money. Right. But in turn, like, in the end, when the time comes, you've invested so much time in those characters that it's a heartbreaking decision as to who you actually want to, you know, go through with. Go through with whatever you're going to do. Right. I think we pretty much covered everything that we wanted to talk about, but leave in the comments what you guys think. Which is better. Yeah, which, which, which is better, gameplay-wise? Or what game is your personal favorite? Or which one do you think is more fun? More fun. Not realistic. Fun. What game do you like more? But uh, that's it. Uh, peace out, guys. We'll see you in the next one.